Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this uh, fairly rare bit of kit. Actually, it's a Range Rover Evoque. It is the Coupe 2.2 diesel with a six speed manual gearbox. Recently arrived in part exchange with us. I would suggest it's in good all round condition. A couple of minor things to point out to you as we go around, um, but hopefully you'll get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. So starting up here on the roof, got that pretty nice little funky little spoiler on the back there, haven't you? But roof, nice and straight, tidy as you'd expect it to be. Coming down onto your windscreen. The windscreen is a heated quick clear type of windscreen. There are no cracks, stone chips or anything on there to worry about. Coming down onto the bonnet, the bonnet is in good overall condition. Um, you do have a little bit of wear and tear from sort of stone chips and stuff, flies hitting it. It's not really that noticeable, but if I just get in close, you can just see you've got little bits and pieces on it. Nothing major. In fact, the iPhone camera probably highlights them more than what you can actually see in real life. But there are bits and pieces on there. Got your nice gloss black piano. Uh, piano gloss black um, bonnet vents but as you can see you know I'm just highlighting stuff to you uh, our videos are warts and all so we'd like to just point everything out to you front grille as you can see is another gloss piano gloss black setup all the grills front end of the vehicle all nice as well you do have front and rear parking sensors as well as a rear camera fitted to it you have the LED lights as well. As you can see, passenger headlamp unit's all good. Passenger front bumper corner's all good with no scuffing. Coming around to the driver's side, driver's side light unit, that's all good. And then driver's side front bumper corner, that's all good uh, with no scuffing either. And if we look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, hopefully you can see, there are no major dents or dings to point out to you, in fact, pretty much nothing it's all very straight and tidy going down the side there driver's side front wing that's all good driver's side front alloy wheel is a factory alloy wheel you have a pirelli tire on the front there the alloy wheels all have minor minor corrosion on them this is what i'm talking about little bits like this okay so and then you've got a little bit of curbing on them as well nothing major it is there just pointing it out to you you know you'd look at a refurb wouldn't you and new center caps if you wanted to make it mint but it is a used vehicle um tire as you can see plenty of tire tread depth on there side vents all looking good side mirror unit with integrated indicator is all good the mirror itself that's all good driver's side door glass that's all good no scuffing from it going up and down driver's side door itself that is all good. It is keyless entry um, or remote locking. So, um, yeah, that's uh, your door handle. And then just look at your uh, door edges, okay? So, door edges to the rear quarter, that's all lining up nicely. And if we get up close to your door edges, hopefully you can see no major damage, stone chips, chipping, or anything. It's all looking good. Getting down low, looking at your sills. The sills are in good order as well. As you can see, you have your front mini uh, mud flap. And then on the back end of the vehicle, your alloy wheel on the back end here. Actually, is not in bad condition. Another factory alloy, obviously. We have a Devante tire on this side. That tire has plenty of tire tread depth, as you can see. Um, and then yeah, just your carpet arch liners. Fuel flare flap have rear privacy glass as you can see and then just looking down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle again really straight and tidy lovely looking car to be fair now what our detailer has just done is remove the Range Rover badge off the back um, purely because they should be gloss black and they lose their texture I believe we can buy them off eBay for not a lot of money so we'll probably get that sorted out on it for you but as you can see back end of the vehicle all looking very nice. High level brake lights, all good. You got that rear privacy glass. Rear light units 
like the crystal clear light units, those are all in good order. As is your lower one. Splitter down there as well. Looks like you might have a removable tow bar or the thing for the tow bar. Um, don't quote me on that because I'm not sure whether we've got it. Or whether it's just, no, I think that's just factory fit to be fair. And then you can just buy the little bit to go into it. Push button opening on your tailgate there. There's your rear camera as well. And then just having a look inside your tailgate. It's all very clean and tidy, isn't it? Your carpeting, split fold rear seats, all the carpet edging, etc., and your interior carpet is in really nice condition. Look at your bumper edge, top of your bumper, as you can see, really nice condition. You know, really minor, couple of minor little marks there if you're looking, but yeah, for a vehicle of this age, I think it's in cracking condition. Just looking at your cleanliness, how we've cleaned it, or how the detailers have cleaned it, all your door shuts are nice and clean, free of leaves, etc. Rear light unit this side's all good. Rear bumper corner this side, all looking good as well. And again, looking down the side profile of the vehicle from this side, you can see really nice, tidy vehicle. So light unit's all good, rear reflector's all good, rear mud flap's all good. Alloy wheel this side, again, it's got corrosion on it. So you've got corrosion on your center of your alloy wheel there, your center caps are corroded as well. We have a Pirelli tire on this side. That tire has plenty of tire tread depth, as you can see. And then rear quarter this side, obviously rear privacy glass again. With a really minor little ding there. You know, a little touch in there required, but I am searching for stuff, maybe a little one there. You know, on the whole, it is very tidy. Again, getting down low, looking at your seals. Seals are in good order. Mirror unit and integrated indicator this side, all good. Door glass is all good. And then alloy wheel this side. Again, elements of corrosion here. Bit of curbing there. Um, and we have a Pirelli tire on this side by the looks of it as well. Uh, with plenty of tire tread depth, as you can see. Um, looking inside the vehicle, your passenger door card is in good order. We have electric memory seats on the passenger side, nice bit of gloss black piano trim. Your bonnet release is there. Carpet mats, as you can see, clean and tidy. Glove box, locking wheel nut keys in there. Dashboard fascia, all good. And your headlining is all looking good. This little handle here that lets you through into the back. And I've gone and thrown the, excuse the paper, through the paper door mat out of the way. Let's move that to there. So rear seats, as you can see, you've got your center armrest here. Nice black leather, as you can see. You do have ISOFIX in the back here. So you've got one this side, one that side. So that's all good. And if I just move our camera and price board out of the way. There's your passenger seat. Passenger seat's in nice condition. No wear on your edges or anything. Do have a side airbag built into it. But as you can see, all nice and tidy. We'll run over to the driver's side in a second. Let's just go via the engine bay. Let's just, just quickly show you your door shuts. Nice and clean and tidy. we go door edges all good just have a quick look at your alignment everything aligns up nicely doesn't it there as well and then round to your bonnet we have just to the right of your e there is your little handle that you need to pull up and that opens up your bonnet now having a look at your bonnet again everything's in good tidy order Now obviously normally with the vans we try and show you as much as possible under here so your coolant is here coolant is the correct color coolant there is no contamination in there it's not very visible on the video 
Uh, obviously windscreen wash, there's your dipstick, there's your oil filler, air box is there, and battery is behind this panel here. Um, but as you can see, underneath there, it's all nice and tidy, isn't it? That's on the hydraulics as well. And then driver's door card again, very clean and tidy. There's your memory settings for your seats, electric windows and electric mirrors. Meridian speakers in it as well, it's a nice little option. Door sh cards, shuts I should say, clean and tidy. Your entry seal's all good. One bit we've got to get done, as you can see the stitching has come undone on the seat here. Okay, so we will get that redone on it for you before it goes out the door. But other than where the stitching just come undone, which isn't uncommon on the this model, um, driver's seat's all good. Driver's door uh, floor mat, a little bit of a hole in the in the over mat there, but your door pedal, your door pedals, bloody hell, your pedals are all uh, all good. And then sitting in the vehicle, as you can see, it's done 102,718 miles, 716 miles, I should say. You've got this lovely leather multifunction steering wheel. The steering wheel itself is in good order, with no excessive wear or tear on it. You have your multifunction controls for your cruise control. Onboard computer system, volume and search controls for your stereo. Mode will obviously change it from DAB, FM, AM to your Bluetooth phone and music. You've got a bit of voice activation going on here and your telephone controls are there as well. To start the vehicle, you have to have your foot down on the clutch. Press the start stop button. And then obviously it just fires up, does a systems check, just telling us that the driver's door's open at the moment and we have no seat belt on. Uh, and then this is your uh, center computer system so we have uh, obviously audio and video so you've got DAB, FM and AM you have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music um, we have navigation as you can see touch screen there um, and we have reverse gear so your six-speed manual gearbox touch down all the way to the right and then back towards you engages your reverse gear and your reverse camera as well and then down here we have what looks to be a CD player and we have heated driver and passenger seats, climate control, air conditioning, heated quick clear front windscreen, heated rear window, air recirculation, where you want the air blowing to. You can manually adjust the fans or you can have it on auto and it'll automatically keep it at whatever setting you have it set on, on here. Sat here now, it's quite a warm day today and aircon's coming out nice and cold. Uh, gear gate is all looking good. This is your um, terrain response programs here. So you can adjust them depending on what you're looking for. But uh, it is on uh, just on normal mode here at the moment. You have like a sand mode, a snow mode, a, a, a mud rut mode and all of that sort of stuff. It's all in the instruction manual. Um, cup holders. Um, 12 volt power covers over nicely armrest here that opens up and you've got a usb power in there as well ipod another 12 volt power auxiliary etc top of your dashboard etc in here is all looking nice and tidy rear view mirror controls for interior lights and stuff um and there you go um so history's not bad on it um it isn't main dealer, uh, it is done through independence, um, but it all stacks up with your MOT history and etc. Uh, one thing we can't see is the cam belt's been done, so we are going to get the cam belt done on it before it goes out the door, so it gives everybody peace of mind that that is done. Uh, we will service it before it goes out the door as well. Um, when we service it, we do oil, air, pollen and fuel filters. We don't just wipe its arse and change the oil, uh, it has everything done on it. Uh, your brakes will be checked, your tyres will be checked, anything less than 3mm on your tyres gets replaced, legal limit being 1.6mm. There are 60 to 70 photos of this vehicle going to be on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. If you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. Um, I'd like to think it's pretty good as it's my company, but um, we're on Google uh, and then obviously we have presence on Facebook, Instagram, 
uh, LinkedIn, etc., etc. Um, thanks for looking at the video. There's about 15 minutes of your life that you're never going to get back. But if you are interested in buying this vehicle, it gives you a very good indication of what you're buying. You know, what can I say really? You know, if you wanted to make it mint, you'd refurb the wheels, put some center caps on it. Uh, we're going to do that seat repair on it for you. But on the whole, she's a very good looking car, isn't it? Drives really well as well. And don't these look great value for money nowadays? And the 2.2 engine is the one to have. The two litre, we all know, is a little bit shocking. Um, anyway, um, feel free to give us a call. And thanks for the video. Cheers.